You know, maybe the only thing more popular in Wisconsin than good food is the Green Bay Packers. Madison native and former WISC TV sports anchor Jesse Garcia has been covering the pack for 20 years. Now she's going deep with her green and gold memories in a new book. And though she spent much of her career at Lambeau Field, Jesse tells us her love of sports started right here in Madison. I have been in that press box as a reporter here at Camp Randall dozens, maybe hundreds of times. And it actually was the Badgers that got me interested in sports in the first place, but not necessarily the Badger football team, at least at the beginning. It was the team that played in the old field house way back when, the Badger basketball team. Very early on, I was anchoring sports at WISC. This was um, 1992, when I had just come out of college. And a, a gentleman called after the show, and he said, I am never going to watch Channel 3 again. And I said, why? And he said, because you're a chick, and chicks don't know anything about sports. Obviously, Mike Holmgren taking the Packers to the Super Bowl was such a huge deal. And yet, at the same time, you have um, Barry Alvarez making Rose Bowls a habit around here and, and turning this program from what it was uh, to an absolute successful top tier Big Ten program. And it's continued to be that, you know, all these years later. So I think that, I don't know that I can put one over, over the other. I think they both had just a tremendous impact on this state and on the sports in this state. But it all started from, you know, oh, isn't this funny? I wonder if people would enjoy this. And wanting to show the human side of the athletes, the coaches, um, and of myself as a reporter and the other reporters that I worked with. I still remember talking with Bob Harlan in the uh, locker room right after they clinched the trip to the Super Bowl, after the NFC Championship game when they beat Carolina to, to earn their ticket. And uh, as, I, as I was asking him, I said, is there a moment from today, just one thing that you're going to remember the most when you look back on this, you know, decades from now and he could not even answer he just broke down crying um, I had just had Jake my oldest son but I had no babysitter and I was also nursing and <laughs> Jake came up to Lambo with me and um, what I remember most is that he needed his diaper changed and so I, I took him into the tunnel and I changed his diaper in the Packers tunnel and uh, somebody snapped a picture of it I think that as much as I enjoyed watching Brett Favre because he was so crazy and you never knew what he was going to do and was he going to flip the ball this way or that way, uh, and because he, his durability was unmatched and was absolutely incredible, and the fact that he was never hurt is just unheard of um, or played through so many things, um, I would have to say that if I had to go to war with somebody as my quarterback, I would take Aaron Rodgers because of that arm strength, um, that accuracy, and he is whip smart, um, and he knows what he's doing out there. You can find Jesse's book, My Life with the Green and Gold, right now at Amazon.com. Last but not least, if you were told that in order to get ahead at work, you needed to have plastic surgery, would you do it? Darrell Connor gives us his take when we come back.